Hi, I'm Lynette and welcome to my channel. Today I will be showing you a tutorial on this very simple, easy, neutral look created using the Juvia's Place Warrior 2 palette. Today's video marks the ninth installment in the Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette tutorial series here on my channel. So with every Juvia's Place palette that I purchase, I go ahead and I do a tutorial using just the featured Juvia's Place palette. And this is just a way to show you a look that can be created using just the palette alone. So today's video is the Warrior 2 and this is the sequel I guess <laughs> to the warrior palette and this as usual beautiful packaging we've all seen it by now right because it's pretty old I guess and makeup standards um, and this is what it looks like it's Juvia's Place all matte neutral eyeshadow palette now it's not their first neutral palette their very first neutral palette was their very first palette which is the Nubian palette and then after that they kind of just exploded into color and I think we all are now used to Juvia's Place being uh, their palettes being full of color so this one um, is really quite a departure from the majority of their collection and as I said it's all matte it's all neutrals with browns and peachy and and beigey um what's the what's the word I want to say not beige but not chinchilla anyway <laughs> some dark dark browns and then a black and yeah really nice all of the shadows swatch they feel really smooth and they swatched smoothly and softly i decided to do something very quick pretty much simple and easy with this palette um i initially thought i used i used this shade yield it all over the lid in the crease and from the crease down to the lash line and when I initially applied it it looked really dark I was like oh it looks way darker than I um, had wanted it to be but then now that it's all said and done you know, not too dark very on my skin tone very very neutral so yeah this is a great alternative for those of you who want to try Juvia's Place but you don't really want to veer into color you don't like too much color on your eyes or you're afraid to use color this is a nice neutral option sort of yeah, you can just you know dip your toe into the Juvia's Place <laughs> eyeshadow palettes this is a good one to start with and you can do some everyday work um appropriate looks depending on where you work um yeah so this is the look i did today if you'd like to see how i created this look using the juvia's place warrior 2 palette then keep on watching i'm setting the eye using the makeup revolution conceal and define in the shade c11 and i'm just using my big sigma e55 brush to blend it out and i'm not going to set it and now I'm taking Yodit from the palette and a Eddie Funkhauser big fluffy brush. And I'm going to place this shade all over the lid from the crease all the way down to the lash line. And that first brush I used was the Sigma E50, not the 55. And when I first applied this eyeshadow, I thought it was darker than what I wanted. But after it was all said and done, it was actually not that much darker than my skin tone. Now going back into the palette and I'm taking Kana or Kana and an E a Sigma E40 brush and I'm just going to blend the edges of that Yodit. Make sure that the um, edges are blended out. And now I'm taking Kufuru and that same brush that I just wiped off and I'm going to pat that into the outer V and slowly work it up into the crease and I went into the shade several different times um, because I wanted to build up that color I wanted to make sure I got some contrast in that outer V area and in the crease and now I'm just gonna work it into the crease by using circular motions and back and forth motions to blend it out 
And I took my time with this. I just wanted to make sure it blended in smoothly and seamlessly with that first shade. And I'm not used to doing completely neutral looks, so I was like, eh, <laughs> it's a little brown, <laughs> very brown. <laughs> then go back in with that Eddie Funkhauser brush and that first shade and make sure you blend some more. Because it's very important when you're doing um, all matte looks that the blending is especially important. I mean, it's important for every look, but especially for all matte looks. And then back in with the original shade to blend out those edges once again. And now I'm taking the Sephora Retractable Eyeliner Pencil in the shade number 10, matte brown black. And I'm adding that to my waterline, keeping it all brown today, all brown. Now going back in with Yodit, and I'm just going to blend out, or try to blend out that black brown shade on the lower lash line. And now in with Zazz and a Sigma pencil brush, and that's going to serve as, again, a matte inner corner highlight. And want to make sure you blend that in. This was a good white. It showed up very well on my skin tone. And this is the completed look. Um, no falsies today, no winged eyeliner, just all natural, all neutral browns. And the shades all performed very well. So that is the look for today. A very neutral look. I even paired it with a neutral lip. I was very tempted to go brown. To pull out my Fenty Beauty, my brown one, but I said no, no, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it neutral. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so one look that you can do using just this palette alone. I'm sure there are many, many, many other looks that can be done with it. I will, of course, be doing other looks with it. If you'd like to see me do any other looks, perhaps. Um, using more shadows, using less shadows, um, let me know in the comments below and of course I will get that out for you. If you liked this video and if you like tutorials, then please consider subscribing because I do tutorials here on a regular basis along with makeup hauls, reviews, and swatches every Saturday. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope to see you again next week. Until then, bye-bye.